What is this? This is Nutella. And if you buy it in these nice little glasses, you end up with a classy wine glass. Save the earth, people. Now, because Nutella is so delicious, it may happen that you get some on your hands like this. And, well, if you don't have a sink handy and all you have are some paper towels or, oh look, some nice soft toilet paper, well, let's see what we can do about this situation. Take the toilet paper and then, 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 then. That's what I'm left with. Well, what if I happen to have a sink and some nice water and soap? Well, that's quite a difference, isn't it? Now imagine going around all day touching people and things with your sticky Nutella hand. Or if you're a chirophobe or just finger modest, imagine wearing gloves. By the end of the day, you have a hot, sticky, chocolatey mess. And this is why the bidet is so important. I'm Luke, and this is Plymouthy. This is a bidet. What do you think a bidet is used for? A drinking fountain for pets, fermenting wine, a cat bed. All wrong, of course. The bidet is an essential component to bathroom hygiene. As demonstrated in the Nutella example, once you do your business, if you only are using toilet paper, well, there's still something left over until you use soap and water. But not all countries have bidets. Where I grew up in the United States, it's practically unheard of. And when I first came to Italy, I didn't even know how to use one. And if anyone in the US has even thought of the bidet, it's in the context of the stereotype of the dirty Frenchman who is so unclean and bathes so rarely that he needs a bidet in order to prevent himself from being killed to death by disease. But in Italy, the bidet is seen as necessary in the bathroom as the sink, and for good reason. Let's see what Italians and other foreigners have to say. Siete italiani, ovviamente. Eh, voi usate il bidet. Uh, che pensate della gente che non usa il bidet? Che non so come faccia a non lavarsi. Esatto, che non c'è igiene. Eh, infatti. No. Tutti i giorni dentro la doccia, cioè, uno spreco infatti, di tempo. E uno spreco anche di acqua. Eh, al eh. volo, ti metti lì, non spreghi l'acqua, non spreghi tempo. Negli Stati Uniti non l'abbiamo. This was the first reaction, shock. Che pensa se alla maggior parte di questi stranieri che sono qui e non... Ma uh... ah, deve in bidet. Sì, ecco. <ride> esatto, anch'io dico Buon... la stessa cosa. Dritto e conciso, appunto. Sì. Provatelo e poi vediamo se cambia qualcosa. E eh, di sicuro fa. cambierà. Probabilmente ti, ti cambierà la vita. Where are you from? We live in Argentina uh -huh. and we are here for holidays. Oh, yes. wonderful. Yes. And so do you use a, a bidet in Argentina? Always, all the time, Always. yes. Oh, right. In all the house uh, there are bidets in Argentina. Uh, yes. That makes sense. It's very common there. That sounds like a wonderful place to visit. When the first time that we Americans, when we see a bidet, we don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, right. A <laughs> <laughs> sir. Is that true? It, it can so, be, it can be. And all of the Northern Europeans here and the North Americans that you see, they haven't used the bidet. Yes. What do you think about those people? Uh, I think that um, they are a little, I don't know what you do when you finish your things uh -huh. <laughs> there, but I think that it's, uh, it's if you don't use it, yeah. it's It's possible, well, but weird. it's not the, the good. The uh, how do you say mm -hmm. sucio? Dirty. Yeah. Dirty. Yes. It is, yeah, more yeah, sucio. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, because normally what um, North Americans do is plan it with a shower. Ah, but isn't okay. that? That's muy difícil, pero no. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. um, you you lost you lost uh, time there. That's right. It yeah. wastes time and water <laughs> and so forth. So yes. anyway. Uh, yeah, do you advise North Americans and Northern Europeans to get a bidet in their house? Yes, yes, of course. Uh, we recommend it. Yes. 
Okay, All well. the houses. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Muchísimas gracias. Okay. Gracias Thank a vos. ¿no? ¿Tienen en casa el bidet? No, no, no ah, tenemos. ¿De dónde vienen? De México. Ah, de México. Sí. Y uh, como a nosotros, los estadounidenses, no tenemos el bidet no, en casa. Y, pero en Italia es una cosa esencial. Sí. Y sí. por los italianos, <risa> cuando los italianos uh, piensan a nosotros, norteamericanos, piensan que somos uh, uh, matos porque no tenemos. ¿Cuál es um, uh, su opinión? sobre el bidet. ¿Es necesario o quiero usarlo? Necesario, demasiado pulcro y hace falta en Latinoamérica. Sería buena idea llevarlo allá. Eh, sí. Yo sí. pienso que no, que Ajá. es excesivo y que basta con que tengas una buena higiene con lo que sabes hacer y es un poco excesivo, a mi parecer. Pero... Con el calor sería bueno. Con el calor, naturalmente, porque sí. por eso uh, tenemos naturalmente uh, el bidet um, Uh, muy frecuentemente en Italia, en España, en Portugal. Gracias, muchísimas gracias. Voy a ser italiano, ¿eh? sí. Ótimo. ¿Y ¿Qué pensaste uh, de la gente que no usa el bidet? Que no es higiénico. So, uh, what's your name? Aaron. Aaron, I'm Luke. Nice to meet you. You too. And uh, where are you from? U.S. All right, like me. And do um, you ever use a bidet in the U.S.? I have, yeah. Really? Yes. Do, uh, do, do you have them now? Where do you have them? Uh, I got one for my brother for his birthday. Wow. How yeah. recently was that? Two years well, ago. Yeah, so like when COVID started, people were starting to get the more to help conserve on toilet paper. Is that Was that the reason for you? That was generally the reason, and also indigestion runs in the family, so uh -huh. it's kind of like a, a matter of necessity, I think. Awesome. Did you use them before, and, and you wanted uh, to... I think it was probably just social media marketing. Really? Like Insta Interesting. Instagram ads, maybe. Oh. Yeah, but had you lived in a country like Italy where they were being used a lot? Yeah. Or? Really? Awesome. <laughs> and uh, so now that you know how important a bidet is, it probably, like it is to me now, mm -hmm. uh, what do you think about people walking around in other countries like Northern Europe or America where uh, they don't use a bidet? Just knowing that people probably have dirty bottoms. Yeah. Um, I guess when you put it like that, it's a little disturbing, but <laughs> I haven't really thought about it. Awesome. Well, Aaron, <laughs> thanks so much. Really appreciate yeah, it. Thanks. Where are you from? From Belgium. Okay, right. Yeah. So in Northern Europe, as I understand it, usually you don't have the bidet, right? No, we don't have it. It's not standard in our bathrooms to have one. But you said it used to be? Yeah, it's like in the 80s, like my aunts, uh, they had one in their bathroom. It was standard, but now it's disappeared. Wow, how about that? Yeah. yeah. In, in North America, the United States, we, we don't have them at all, yeah. normally. Okay. And when I first came to live in uh, Italy, I didn't know how to use it. I know what it was for. So, Understand. Uh, yeah, so uh, the way that Italians use it is whenever they use the bathroom, usually women, anytime they use the bathroom, uh, or men, when they need to sit down to use the bathroom, mm -hmm. they always use it uh, with yeah. soap and water. And yeah. that way they don't need to take a shower right away to feel clean. So uh, anyway, that's how they use it. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about that? Yeah, it's, it's like um, conservative, uh, like traditional, I yeah. think. Mm -hmm. um, in our culture, it's not... It's not standard anymore, mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, if they feel like using it, it's okay. Uh, but yeah, we we are not uh, used to it, so sure. Yeah. yeah, in the United States, no one is no used one. to it. Until yeah. I started living here, I didn't uh, start using it. Okay. But now I think it's a really good idea. And um, mm -hmm. uh, if do you have one in your hotel or your? Uh, you're we staying? don't know. We haven't seen our room yet. Oh, you just <laughs> got here? Yeah. Yes. Oh, wow, this wonderful. <laughs> Oh, that's great. Okay. Yeah. Well, um, if you have one, not all hotels have them anymore because uh -huh. they know that we foreigners don't always use them and they don't want to waste the money, but every Italian has one in their house. Okay. Um, so uh, would you consider using one if it's in your hotel today? I would consider it, but I don't know if I'm going to use it. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to use one for sure. <laughs> okay. Well, I appreciate your answering these questions. Thank you so much. Okay. Where are you from? from you uh, kind of was in Rome for 10 years. Really? Yeah. Okay, cool. So uh, you've used a bidet before? I have. All right. So uh, what's your opinion on the bidet? Is that something like you feel is necessary now? No. Really? And you know, why is that? I think it's more of a convenience thing. Really? Okay. Uh, so, because uh, Italians usually feel like it's really necessary. Yeah. And that's why I wanted to make this video because Italians feel like, like if they go anywhere where there's not a bidet, they feel incredibly uncomfortable. Um, so that's not something you relate to even though you've uh, used a bidet Correct. a lot? Okay. Uh, so do you just time it really well, the shower? Or... Yep, basically. Where are you from? We're from the Netherlands. All right, fantastic. Well, thank you all for being in this video. Sure, no problem. And uh, so, uh, in the Netherlands, do you use a bidet or do you have it in the house? Well, actually, it's more of a historic thing than an actual uh, 
everything being uh, placed in a modern house. I'd really? say in a modern house there's no people. Oh, but in older Old houses, houses there are. Really? That's yes. very interesting, Robert. So somehow it's got somehow out of our system. Interesting. Cause, yeah, I, I mean, do believe there's a modern thing when you sit on a toilet and the thing does well, all kinds of things, stuff to you. Yeah. So it's like a toilet bidet in, in one. It's, it's becoming mm. uh, popular, I believe. Really? In the Netherlands? Maybe not specific in the Netherlands. Are you staying in a hotel here in uh, Italy? Actually, in a bed and breakfast. Does it have a bidet? Yes. And it does, uh, have you used it, or would you consider using it? No, not really. No, no. Okay. So you had a bidet experience you wanted to share? Yeah. So like, I, I'm personally a fan. I think that's the future. Like at first, we we had a couple mistakes. We used uh, we thought the bidet towels were face towels and. Sometimes they even got put back on the rack, but we figured it out slowly, and I think that's the way to go. Isn't that interesting? Like we don't even know what they are. No. And normally we, we have watched to... a YouTube video on how to use it. Like we had no clue. Thank goodness for YouTube. <laughs> right. <laughs> exactly. Uh, what about yourself? What do you think about the day? I only used it once because I don't really know how to use it. But the time I did use it, I forgot to turn it off before I got up. Uh huh. So it sprayed all over. Oh no. <laughs> and where are you from? Uh, I'm from Ukraine, but uh -huh. living in Cyprus for the last five years. Okay. Wow. So, uh, in Cyprus, do they have the bidet? Yes, they do have the bidet, but uh -huh. they are not using it much as well as really? in Ukraine. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's something that uh, which belongs to the culture, I guess, of these people. Uh, you uh, prefer not to use the bidet normally? Yes, uh, normally, like, we are not using it. This is not something that we get used to. So, the camera woman wants to add something. Nelle interviste che avete visto poco fa, molte persone hanno detto che il bidet è inutile ed eccessivo. Tutt'altro, il bidet è utile e alla base dell'igiene. Quando sporchiamo i piatti, quando usiamo i piatti per mangiare, dopo averli usati li laviamo. A questo punto è molto importante lavarsi dopo essere andati in bagno. Non è una cosa legata alla tradizione, è una cosa legata all'igiene perché se noi andiamo in bagno dobbiamo lavarci, è molto importante e io non credo che tutte le persone che vadano in bagno poi si facciano la doccia. Possiamo sopravvivere senza bidet ma non definiamolo inutile e proviamolo. Da qui è tutto linea allo studio. So how come Americans, among other peoples, don't use a bidet? The first response could be necessity. We've done without bidets in the US and we've landed on the moon, right? Well, uh, I'm very proud to be American and I loudly laud the accomplishments of my countrymen over the centuries from electricity to airplanes to the internet to computers. But being less sanitary is not one of them. So the way that Americans, who have any hygienic sense about them, try to keep themselves clean is to try to master the unmasterable of corporal timing. They go to the bathroom and do what they need, and then they hop right into the shower, which means three things. They have the fortune of being perfectly regular, they only need to go once a day, or failing that, they take multiple full body showers a day. And if that doesn't happen, the probable result is that most of the people you see and spend time with every day are walking around with this situation instead of this situation. The bidet comes from the French word for a pony or a cob, believed to have originated in France in the 1700s. Ironically, France doesn't have bidets anymore. These are the countries where the bidet is standard in bathrooms. So why don't the other countries here use bidets? It seems that over the centuries, all kinds of negative associations have been conflated with the bidet, with origins in superstition, misunderstanding, and prejudice which have made them seem like something dirty to Northern Europeans and North Americans. The irony, of course, is those who use a bidet are just using a small localized shower for their private parts and are, in my estimation, decidedly less dirty than those who don't wash the affected area after doing their business. This is how to use a bidet. After doing your business, sit astride the bidet as you would a toilet. Turn on the water and splash with soap onto the area you wish to clean, just like a shower. Use a towel to dry afterwards. As reported by the Scientific American, bidets usually conserve water. And that's because those who use a bidet, while they still use toilet paper, they need far less of it. Producing toilet paper requires a huge amount of water. And the difference in toilet paper usage conserves water in the long run. And that's nothing compared to the infrastructure damage. A popular alternative to the bidet is the wet wipe. According to The Atlantic and YouGov.com, Brits don't tend to take showers as much as Americans. Americans usually shower every day, 
while Brits as few as just four times a week on average. That means many millions of Englishmen go days without washing their bums. And this has massively increased the popularity of wet wipes. But wet wipes don't easily break down after they are flushed, and often combine with the lipids contained in excrement. And the enormous use of the disposable cloths in London led to the formation of a 10-ton fatberg, which cost the city 500,000 pounds in 2015 just to remove and to repair the pipes. And in 2018, a 140-ton fatberg was discovered that will cost the city 10 times as much to remove. If only England made the bidet a standard bathroom appliance, it could save billions of pounds in future sewer repairs. While the bidet was once alien in the US, the toilet paper shortages in 2020 prompted Americans to install home bidets in order to conserve toilet paper. Bidets have also become popular for people with special sensitivities or ailments. And while it is wonderful that such folks are able to take advantage of the bathroom appliance, it's important not to regard the bidet as something just for those people, whoever they might be in the popular imagination, who might have a less usual problem. That's clearly a mistaken conception. A bidet is simply a way to use a shower on your private area without the need to get completely undressed and step into a shower. That's it. Studies have shown, unsurprisingly, that the proper use of a bidet results in a significantly lower risk of infection and disease as compared with non-bidet users. While bidet attachments to toilets are certainly a step in the right direction, the most sanitary option is probably to install a separate low-tech appliance rather than try to convert existing toilets. But I haven't done enough research in this area to definitively say that the bidet attachment isn't as good as a separate bidet appliance. I'd like to add that this is intended to be a persuasive opinion video with emphasis on opinion. That is, I am expressing the opinion I hold at this time, which is based on personal, anecdotal, and some statistical information. And from this, I am making a recommendation. That said, I in no way condemn others for making their personal hygiene choices, whatever they may be. Having canvassed a good number of people, it seems that pretty much everyone wants to be as hygienic as possible, and that if people associate the bidet with bad hygiene, they will look down on it and not use it, while those who associate the bidet with good hygiene will see it as important and essential. My conclusion based on what I know so far is that the bidet not only promotes good hygiene, but is important for the hygiene that most people actually desire. To use or not to use the bidet, that is the question. It's interesting that Italians today are descended from the people who created these aqueducts to bring water into bathhouses and even into private homes for the sake of sanitation. I've observed my own opinion change over the years, once I actually knew what a bidet was. I thought of it first as, oh, that's completely unnecessary, and then as something, hmm, excessive. And then something that, oh yeah, there's probably some use in this once in a while. Now though, having gotten used to it and realizing what the consequence is of not using it, it absolutely seems essential to me. I think my own prejudice against the bidet came from the idea that it's something that's to be used in place of a shower. But now I realize that it's something that you use in combination with all the things to keep you clean. And that, in reality, now that I think about it, it's pretty darn essential. So if you're going to be doing a bathroom remodeling in the future, you might consider adding a bidet. Thanks for watching. Walete. What do you think about the bidet? Would you install one in your home? If you have one available to you, would you use it? Why or why not? And for those of you who come from countries where using a bidet is commonplace, what do you think about the other people in the world who don't use a bidet? Let me know in the comments. Now, enjoy these outtakes. What is this? Then you, I'm sorry. What is this? What is this? But not all countries have bidets. Bidet, bidet. Now. <laughs> Simmetrico. Oddio, dai, ma perché quando fai, vai al bagno è, è simmetrico? <laughs> What? Non più veloce. Two full body showers a day. Che non è vero, lo sappiamo che non è vero, non e mentite. E tu che pensi del bidet? Ah, ma tu, la tua opinione è... Qual è la tua opinione? Qualcuno non ti ha mangiato. <laughs> Devo pensarci. Aspetta.